spear captures the essence of Gadron's latest foray into tactile switches quite well. In terms of feel, these beer switches are incredibly light. Coming in at 38 grams, the beer's actuation weight is lighter than 94% of all switches in our lineup, and its bottom out weight of 50 grams is lighter than 90% of switches in our selection. I'd say this is a great option for a board where you'll be typing for an extended period of time. Although they're easy to press, the Gateron beer switches feature a substantial tactile bump. It's a stepped kind of tactility, so it's not the kind of tactile switch where the entire keystroke is a bump, but rather one where it's only a portion of the keystroke. In other words, the bump profile is closer to a lowercase p as opposed to an uppercase d. Lastly, the beer switches come with a thin layer of factory lube for a pretty slick feel. It's in terms of sound where the comparison between the beer switches and beer as a beverage really come into play. Due to its polycarbonate top and bottom housings, you can expect a higher pitched, almost chirpy sound signature, something like the fizzy bubbles you get when you're enjoying a carbonated drink, crisp and refreshing. Here's a quick sound test to demonstrate. But because comparison is everything, I wanted to take a few of our best-selling tactiles and put them side by side with the beers. With our Try at Home program, you can try 10 switches side by side yourself at home. This way, you can find the best option for you. I'll drop a link in the description. For today's comparison, I've picked some of Gateron's other tactiles like the Baby Kangaroos and Quins, as well as the Gazoo U4Ts and the KTT Machas. Let's compare the loudness from the softest to the loudest. Starting with the Machas, these are the softest among the five. Slightly louder are the beers and U4Ts, but the Quins and Baby Kangaroos are certainly the most resonant of the bunch. Now let's move on to the pitch comparison. The Quins and U4Ts are the deepest, the Machas are the middle ground, and the Baby Kangaroos and beers are the highest pitched. In terms of bottom out force, the Machas are by far the lightest at 45 grams, followed by the beers at 50 grams, U4Ts at 62 grams, and then Baby Kangaroos and Quins at 67 grams each. The size of a switch's tactile bump will also impact the perception of feel, just like how the temperature can feel colder or hotter than what the thermometer says. So the matchas have the smallest tactile bump, the baby kangaroos and quins have a bigger bump, the beers a little bigger still, and for a fully rounded, capital D-shaped tactile bump are the U4Ts. To put this into context, even though the U4Ts have a lighter bottom out compared to the baby kangaroos, to me, they feel equally heavy due to its larger tactile bump. Shifting our attention to the beers, I find that their super light bottom out force and substantial tactile bump almost cancel each other out. But now let's talk about price. The beers are the most budget friendly option here at 4.59 per 10. The matchas come in at 4.88, baby kangaroos and quins at 4.90, and U4Ts, the priciest of the bunch, at 6.50 per 10. Whichever switch you choose, make sure to head over to Milktooth to get the best prices on each of them. On average, our customers save 27% when shopping for switches at Milk2, where you also get free shipping on orders over $49. The Gateron beer switches are a great choice for those seeking a tactile switch, the noticeable bump, along with an easy pressing experience and a higher pitch sound. If you find this appealing, then the Gateron beers are the perfect choice for you. However, if you want to learn about more tactile switches, click this video here to check out my curated picks for the best tactile switches of 2023. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.